Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see by the title, I'm currently in LA. I'm sorry if it's loud. I'm standing right by the street, but I am here alone. It's like my first solo trip, I think, but I'm here for the UGA game. But that's not for another two more days, so I'm just gonna bring y'all along what I do during these two days. My boyfriend plays for UGA, so I'm going to the game with his family, but for the first couple days, I'm on my own, doing my own thing. I'm so excited. Right now, I just Ubered to Melrose. I didn't even film this morning because I literally Literally, first of all, there was no flights available, so mine had to be a connector. And so I flew to Denver from Atlanta at 6.30, and then I flew from Denver to LA and got to LA at like 11 o'clock. So I thankfully got early check-in. Right when I walked in, I got to get my room. I took like a 45 minute nap and got up and it was like 12.30 and I was like, okay, I need to do something because I only have two days. I put on a little bit of makeup. This is the fit, what I wore to the airport, diesel bag, my shoes, sweats, but now I'm on Melrose. I'm about to grab food and then I will be shopping. I'm gonna bring y'all along my whole day. About to get a burger right now. so hungry right now I just ordered a burger but in like an hour Oliver's picking me up and we were supposed to go get lunch but I just couldn't wait so I guess I'm gonna eat twice I'll let y'all know when my food gets here I'm so excited all right we're gonna taste test but I have to hurry because I don't want to get copyrighted for the song it's like a vegan burger Okay, this store looks really cute, so I'm about to go in. Okay, I just walked in this cute little thrift store. This is so cute, I like the neckline. And I really want this, because it's huge. And it has like little cuts in it. I don't know, they're $40. Oliver picked me up and we just went to Air One, right? Is that what it's called, right? Yes. We went to Air One. I already ate because I was starving. I showed y'all what I ate. But I got this little, what is it? Oatmeal? Overnight oats. It's so fucking good. And so I got that. He got a little like, build your own meal. So now we're going to, where are we going? A thrift store. A thrift store. And then we are going to our, the bed. Yeah, I'm so tired, I'm about to tired. die. Hello you guys, please excuse the lighting, it's so bad in this bathroom. But I just got back from hanging out with my friend Oliver, like y'all saw. I went to CVS. Got myself a little wine. I think I'm going to do my makeup just because I don't want to waste a day because I only have like two of them basically. So I'm forcing myself even though I am so tired. But I'm going to force myself to get cute a little, drink some wine, and go to my absolute favorite restaurant which is Pink Taco. So we're going to do my makeup real quick. I'm also filming a TikTok get ready with me so I'm going to be talking to both of y'all at the same time. I got the like TikTok viral aquaphor stick. People just like literally put it all over their face so. That's what I just did. I don't know if that's a good idea before your makeup but whatever. Like should I do my makeup or is this so pointless? I'm gonna do the absolute lightest makeup routine to mankind. I did not get like any content for y'all today. I'm terrible. It's just so hard to film while shopping because it's just like my hands are full. I didn't have my tripod. I just had my camera because I was it was in my purse. And I didn't even shop for that long. I think I might go back tomorrow and actually buy stuff because today all I bought is wine. Somehow, literally I clear skin for like over a month. Of course, I get on an airplane and I have acne now. It's amazing okay i literally did it in like 0.2 seconds and i don't know what to wear because it's like kind of cold but i've also had this sweatsuit on all day but i feel like i should probably just wear a sweatsuit i'm going alone anyways and it's just like not that deep it's a mexican restaurant what should i do i wish i was on facetime with y'all so y'all could give me your opinions i look red in the camera right now i do not know what's going on with the lighting hopefully it's not this bad my hair is so dirty and they freaking threw away my purple shampoo on the way here i thought it was small enough and it just wasn't so i bought terrible ass shampoo and conditioner from cvs today i might just try to do the thing that other people do and wash 
like your hair because like my extensions like don't need to be washed it's just like the top of my hair gets greasy this is like my secret magic trick again dirty hair well we're just gonna make it look cute glasses on the head saves it every time the camera should have been here the whole time i'm like what was i thinking i'm so sorry this vlog's really chaotic but I think I'm just gonna go with the black sweatsuit and my la. How do you say? My Landvins. This was my airport fit. Still haven't taken it off, but cute. And my diesel purse. Let's go spend probably fifty dollars for Mexican. All right, you guys. I made it to my favorite place. I'm really trying to decide if I should get a margarita or not because I'm literally gonna go straight to sleep after this, so I don't know. But I just ordered a quesadilla. I can't get copyrighted, so I can't talk to y'all that much. It's here. You can't even see it because it's pink, but I'm waiting on my sour cream. All right, we're gonna taste test. So good. Look how cute it is. It's on sunset. Boulevard. It was so bad. I couldn't even finish half of my quesadilla, but it's fine. I still had fun. So I'm about to Uber back. I'm trying not to think of how much of a waste this was, but YOLO. I made it back to the hotel. It is 9.06. In Atlanta, it would be 12. Basically, I've been awake for almost 24 hours because I woke up at 4 in the morning Atlanta time, which is 1 a.m. LA time. Anyways, it's time to take off this makeup and go to sleep. I'm literally like sleep talking, walking. Like going to that restaurant was like a delusional move that I made. Like, oh, and to think that it wasn't even good. And that is my favorite place, y'all. Like that is just so disappointing. I couldn't even eat half of it. But whatever, you live and you learn. It wouldn't have been that deep. It's just the motherfucker. Ubers that really throw me off because Ubers were more expensive than my quesadilla. Tell me why a quesadilla in LA is $21. Like that's all I got. In Athens, Georgia, I can get a quesadilla and a small margarita for about 14. I could never live here until I am like very financially stable because if I was pretty financially stable, spending a lot of money Especially on food is something that really rubs me the wrong way. In my opinion, money is fake. That's such a lie, but like, it's what I'm gonna tell myself. And I'm gonna try and find a way to make it back by the end of the trip. Whenever I spend too much money that I like, which will be this trip on food slash Ubers, you just gotta make a plan of how you're gonna get it back. Like, that is so past my bedtime. Like, I don't even know if I'm like, am I even real life right now? Oh, my skin's been so good until right now. Laneige lip mask. I promise you guys, I'm gonna give y'all more content tomorrow. Today was just a rough day, but I'm really proud of myself for not wasting any time because I'm not here for long. So I really only took like a 30 minute nap and that was like right when I got back. I don't know if this is good for you. I just saw people doing it on TikTok, so I feel like it would definitely clog your pores. Well, guess we'll find out in the morning. Feels good though if you have dry skin. All right, girlies, I am going to sleep. I will see y'all in the morning. Whoo! Good morning, you guys. It's 9:15 here, which is 12 Atlanta time, but like I'm, it just feels so good that it's only 9:15 and I'm up and moving. Got to do my little morning routine, and then I get free breakfast vouchers at Marriott, so I am go get my free breakfast. I'm so excited! I love hotel breakfast. Today I don't really have much planned. I think the trading post is open only on Sundays, and it's Sunday. Maybe I should do that. Okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth and then head down to the buffet. Right, here's what we're working with. You guys. Oatmeal, pancake, hash browns, cereal. Hello, girlies. I'm back up in 
bed. I've just been chilling. It's only 11. It feels so weird because like it would be so much later, but I love it. I was just thinking. Also, the buffet was good. It could have been better, but I got something in my stomach at least. And I honestly haven't had fruit in forever and it was so good. I need to start eating fruit again. I just ate like a little bit of everything, which is what I like doing, which is why I got so much stuff. Also, my face is not like sweaty. I just have the Aquaphor stick all over because... I love it. Anyways, I was thinking, I want to like literally completely rebrand myself. I want to be like incognito, if that makes sense. But that does, that will never really fully work for me because I do YouTube and I do share stuff on the internet. But on my feed, like this is such a good era of me. Like some people know me as my cheer era. And so like I kept like two pictures up. These are my first pictures on my feed now because I went through and I archived like all the old ones. But like, been like holding on to like all these old pictures. I want to be the girl with like 20 pictures on her feed. People don't know where she even lives. <laughs> I don't know, I go through these phases, but the good thing with archive is you can always put it back. So I'm not really stressing. So I think I'm about to go through an archive just because it's like 2023 and it's like I want to start fresh. I want to rebrand myself i just have so many pictures up well i used to have like a thousand but then i got down to like 200 i'm just going through right now and archiving so i just wanted to show y'all and tell y'all oh my god my prom dress was so beautiful i like looking back but it's just like i don't really need everyone else to see this pictures from 2019 2018 have like 10,000 likes that's so funny to me but that was a moment for sure but it's like the moment's over I'm gonna have to do this at some point like when I'm a mom I don't want to have to you be able to scroll down and see when I was 16 like some of these need to just go I do really like a lot of pictures of me though so I'm gonna have to sacrifice some see like but then I'm like this was so like I took a trip to Italy and like these pictures were so like cute and like travel girl but like if i'm deleting all of them i need to just delete them all i'm at 147 I'm going to definitely this is so hard for me to gonna go through and unfollow the people that i simply just don't want i might make a whole video on this after i do it and after i see if it like actually helps i want to unfollow all the people who want post negative things or just like don't care to see what they're doing anymore because like we outgrow people all the time but for some reason people take unfollowing on instagram as beef but it's just like why would i follow you if i don't care what you're doing don't care to see what you're doing at that I don't know. I'm not like a mean girl, so I don't want people to walk around being like, oh my god, Brooklyn unfollowed me. Like, we must have beef. I don't beef with anyone. I can't imagine beefing with someone at this big age. Okay, so I did this in 2019. I did like 2019 was the caption, and it was like all my 2019 pics. Was that my ex boyfriend? See, this is why I need to go through is my ex-boyfriend on my instagram feed his poor girlfriend but like that was an accident if you're watching babes that was so funny the unfollow thing i'm definitely gonna do i've tried to do this before i only follow like 400 people but there is at least 100 people at least that i could unfollow but i choose not to because i don't want them to think like we have beef or anything negative like it's just like i don't care see and like it's gonna have to happen one day because like i said like when i'm a mom I'm not gonna be following everyone from high school it is what it is at this point it's 2023 and we need to let go of a lot of things and start on a clean slate i think this is the best way to start on a clean slate because it's kind of like keeping your room clean your room cl is clean your mind is so much clearer and i feel like this is like that like clear off socials Stuff you don't want to see, stuff you don't like of you, stuff, anything. I've done this with my TikTok too. Everyone deleted all the like nasty stuff. Who remembers this stage of me? Like, are any of you OGs? I'm back with the update. It's been like 20 minutes and now I'm like, ah! got down. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, at Brigitte.Mosco, follow. But down to like 48 posts. This is like my favorite fit ever. This was really good, and the caption was the blueprint. This was cute, and then we're already back to recent times. So, 
birthday pictures eight. So this is like my Miami trip, then Cabo, and then now. I feel like I'm gonna have like a lot of stuff in my highlights. So like if you want to stock, you can find some stuff in the highlights. But this feels so much better. Y'all look. Okay, ready? So you go to my feed, whatever, and you're already to the bottom. Now I have to unfollow, but it's 11.45 or 11.50. So I'm probably going to do that when I'm in bed later tonight. I need to like get out of the hotel and go do something. Okay, finally made a plan for today. I'm going to go to the Santa Monica Pier. I think that'll be fun. I really wanted to go to the Miller's Trading Post. But I also just don't want to spend money. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the Santa Monica Pier. I'm going to get food there. And ride the little Ferris wheel. It just sounds more like my vibe. So I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. I might stop by Target first and see if they have a tripod and try to take Instagram pictures, but we'll see. But first things first, let's put on a little bit of makeup. I'm not sure if I should do like a full face or just like a light makeup routine. So let's try on an outfit first actually and then see if it's picture worthy. That's cute, but definitely not Instagram worthy. Like I really like the way it looks. But it's too plain for Instagram, I think. I don't know. Because maybe it can be just like a cute little like... In LA. I can carry my white purse. Whatever, I'm going to do a light makeup routine. My freaking SD card. I said it was full, so I just went and deleted some videos. But this is going to be really annoying. I'm definitely going to have to keep going back and deleting videos. So, I'm not going to film my makeup routine because I feel like y'all probably can do it with your eyes closed by now. That's how many times I've filmed it on YouTube videos. But if you're interested, I do have a makeup routine, I'm pretty sure, somewhere on my page. So, I will see y'all when I'm done with my makeup. Alright, you guys. I'm ready. And the Uber is booked. The Ubers are so fast here. It's probably... Okay, it's six minutes away. Period. It's so crazy. Every Uber I've gotten in has been a Tesla. I'm like, am I clicking the wrong button? But I'm not complaining. I love Teslas. Did I ever show y'all my view? Like, it's literally amazing. I'm super excited. I can't wait to get, like, a huge corn dog. Okay, you guys. I made it. It's a little chilly and it's kind of giving a Criminal Minds episode, like little blonde takes on massive crowded place and gets kidnapped, but it's fine. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I love the vibes. It's so fun and people are definitely staring at me while I'm vlogging, but I'll never see these people again. I'm about to find a place to eat because I'm literally starving. Look how cute! I am about to ride this ride and the Ferris wheel. Rides are literally my favorite thing ever, so I'm so excited, but I'm starving. I want to eat after this. I didn't vlog while I was on the beach. I was on here for like 20 minutes, but it's freezing down here. I got my food, I ate my hush puppies, but I just sat and talked to this sweet family from Canada because they were on the only bench like down here and I was like can I sit on the end they were so nice we were just talking about like the differences and stuff in Canada and the United States but yeah I didn't finish my main meal I just ate the hush puppy so I'm about to head back up there try to find a spot to sit my food's like cold now but it is freezing down here on the beach it was beautiful though glad I got to come out here I will see y'all when I get back up there I'm sitting on a little bench Life is great right now. I think I might go buy a hoodie before I ride that ride. I forgot to even tell y'all. Someone bought my food. This man was weird. He like gasped when, we, when he saw me ordering. And then I figured he was going to because he got out cash and he had already ordered. Because I was at the like to-go stand. And he was like, I feel like I'm about to get attacked by birds. But when the lady said my total, I like handed her my card and like he handed her cash. He was like, no, I got it. And I was like, no. Like you're good you're good this was after he asked why i was here we had that conversation like my boyfriend plays on the team like boyfriend you know he still chose to pay for my meal which was very shocking because me personally as a man i'm not doing that then he offered to get drinks i was like i'm good 
I'm really upset that I can't ride the Ferris wheel. You have to have two people. It's rude. But I'm gonna go see if they have a hoodie anywhere and then ride that ride and then dip. This is so cute and I'm about to ask a random person to take a photo shoot of me, so I'll let you know how it goes. I'm back, you guys. I put on my sweats and have been laying down. I had to edit a few reels, my Instagram pictures, and a TikTok I made. And that took longer than it should have. But now it's like almost 8 o'clock and I decided I'm just gonna like stay in tonight, not Uber anywhere. So I looked up places near me and there's a Chipotle. And it's a 10 minute walk. And I looked at the weather app and it's gonna rain all day tomorrow. So I have to get a poncho. And so I'm gonna walk to Walgreens after that too. So I'm about to do that, get some dinner and come back and lay down but i will see y'all probably when i get back maybe in the morning i just got my chipotle and i saw that there's a target right by it and look at how cute it's like a little outdoor mall if h&m's open i'm definitely going in there and definitely target and there's a zara period my poncho hunt has been unsuccessful so i guess i'm gonna have to get up in the morning and uber to a walmart because Target is sold out and so is Walgreens, so I guess everyone's buying them. But I feel like Walmart has to have them. Let me turn on my flash. Why do I look sunburnt? I just showered, you guys. I have an unboxing. I have not been drinking enough water, so I got myself a water. I wanted a huge one, but this is the only size I had. I got myself some fruit. I was just texting with my boyfriend's mom and I didn't know. I just thought like tomorrow I'm gonna wake up, chill, get ready all day because the game's at seven. But this is gonna taste weird because I just brushed my teeth. I was definitely mistaken. The gates open at 1.30 so I have to be at the stadium closer to 12, 12.30. So I gotta get up and get ready. So I literally got that text while I was in the shower washing just my body because I was gonna wash my hair tomorrow morning because it looks the best when I blow dry and stuff. But then I was like, oh no, 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 I'd have to wake up really early. And I don't want to be stressed or rushing or late at all. So I just washed it, I'm gonna chill for a little, let it air dry a little, and then blow dry the rest. And then just flat iron it in the morning. And if it needs baby powder, do a little baby powder. So yeah. I'm very content with life right now. About to eat my fruit and unfollow a bunch of people, please. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. I'm not gonna vlog that much. Probably gonna do just more of a montage tomorrow because I'm not about to be like, hey guys, this is my boyfriend's family. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, so sorry about that, but we'll do a get ready with me in the morning because I don't think I've done my makeup on this vlog yet. So I'll do that for y'all in the morning and then show y'all my outfit, then a little montage, and then I'm partying. All right, I love y'all. Good morning, everyone. It's like 10 o'clock right now. I have been up since eight o'clock, and excuse the two fat ass pimples on my face. Don't know what's going on there, but it's 10 o'clock. I woke up at eight. I've been running around the whole city of Los Angeles trying to find a poncho. So I already went to the breakfast buffet this morning and got breakfast. I called a bunch of places. Yesterday I went to three different places and they were all out of ponchos. So today I called a couple places and finally a Walmart, like almost 30 minutes away, had two left. So I was like, please put one at customer service for me and they did. So I Ubered there, grabbed the poncho, Ubered right back. Now it's 10 o'clock, I have a poncho, and I am about to do my makeup for you guys and change. Thankfully, I washed my hair last night because now all I have to do is flat iron it. So let's do my makeup. I'm actually like the world's fastest makeup putter on her. I'm not really in a rush. I just wanna be ready and can take selfies and mirror pictures and not be stressing and rushing. I also got a Red Bull, and this could be very dangerous for me to drink or could save me. It's like one or the other. The two times ago when I drank one, I was like tweaking out and I don't want that to happen. About to look up, I don't know if you like crash after like the five hours. An hour in and you'll likely be getting the dreaded sugar crash. Oh yeah, we're not drinking a Red Bull. This could leave you more tired than before. Absolutely not, we'll be drinking water. Also, my camera's about to die. I'm praying it doesn't die because I do not have time to charge it. I'm super excited for this game and I'm so happy. I don't know if I even told you, I did change my flight so that I won't be stressed tonight partying after and having to leave the club at 3.30. So my flight's at 9.40 now. 
my day tomorrow is going to be terrible. My flight is two stops. But it'll break it up like pretty good, I feel like. And it won't be that bad. I'm just trying to think positive. I'm meeting my boyfriend's grandparents or grandpa today. So that should be fun. I had one of the lights off. Now the lighting is better. I like how there's mirrors like, everywhere I look. Oh, I'm so mad that I have two pimples. My skin has been good for months. But I'm just gonna tell myself no one even notices because they don't. I'm so mad that it's rainy, but I'm just happy I got a poncho because I am wearing my boyfriend's letterman and that cannot get wet. So I'm glad I thought ahead. It might not be raining when, like during the tailgate, there's a lower chance, but after the game, it 100% will be. So I will have to wait for an Uber and stuff. So like. The lighting in here is like throwing me off. I also might change up my outfit. I'm gonna show y'all, I need help. I could either wear jeans, this black crop top, and the Letterman and my Ricks, or the knee-high Ricks Letterman with the black little dress under. I don't know which one will be cuter. I am wearing my Rick Owen boots. They keep falling. Letterman and a little black dress underneath. I am about to Uber to his family and it's raining, so thank God I bought a poncho. But I'm about to Uber to the tailgate. It's like 11 o'clock. I'm like still tired. But anyways, I love y'all and I will see y'all after the game. Bye.